ready to go and it'll be Everett kicking off and it should be Went Goat receiving and look at beautiful U.S. Bank Stadium which will be home of Super Bowl 52 in about 29 days with the Williams. They say offense sells tickets and defense wins championships well we're going to see if Went Goat's able to make that a true prophecy. There he is. Anti-hero aka Everett got the name changed because wanted to pass down that jersey to the old kids uh, and that will be plural here soon. I want to say congratulations to him. And there he is, dropping back. Pass is incomplete there for Wintgoat on offense for his play. Surprising there. I thought he was going to run it, but I guess he's trying to show some uh, some different tendencies there. Not the way you want to start out the game against a veteran like anti-hero. He's going to need to move the ball quickly and make those reads. I'm not even sure where he was going there. <laughs> And, and as an 18-year-old, your first time in the hot seat, you'll chalk that one up, shake the cobwebs off. Now here's where you got to come down and start getting down to business. Yeah, I talked to Wendt, though. He said, look, I want to establish the run, pass if I need to, but my bread and butter is running. I think he tried to be a little different there and show uh, a different look there. And there's Bo Jackson, the 95 fullback, over the middle of the field there. Gain of about a yard. Good defense there so far by Everett. You don't want to find yourself in these third and long situations. Now we're going to know. You need to pass here, and we know at Madden players, they are going to be sending the house. Mm, mm, mm. 39, not where he wants to make a living here. He's going to do a lot of running, uh, but he says, look, I can try to throw the ball when that time comes, but here's a 39. He told me I will still run the ball. Third and 15, I'll still run it. Here he is, changing it up a little bit. He's got X coming across. Great defense there. Hits the receiver going across the middle of the field game of about five they're a fourth and five we'll get our first punt or will he go for it oh he's definitely going to go for this and i asked him earlier on my famous fourth and 17 question <laughs> what you going to do he said run that's exactly what you were saying earlier he said third and long i'll run it and throw it and there he is the fake on the run he's come out and he's going to throw it three times in his first four plays and he's got a reception there robert griffin the third two completions 23 yards picks up the first down there went goat on the move inside of Everett's territory. You can see Everett's a little disappointed in himself. He really wanted to get off the field there and get that stop to start this game off the right way. Great job hitting that dig across the middle of the field. First down and 10. There's fullback goal off the left-hand side. Picks up about three there. It'll be second down. Any yards there? That's what happens when starting that shotgun. You got to oh. just get back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, he got at least a couple. <laughs> no. Everett is playing really good defense right now. It seems like he's committed to stopping the run. He just didn't need to buckle down on that pass defense. Ever doing a good job. He told me that he was going to run a lot of three, four odds and, uh, and things of that nature. So he's really ready to set up that wall and keep everything in front of him. He's expecting the run, but got to give credit to Wick Goat coming out with the pass. And there's a gain of about nine there. Call it third down and one. Give him the first down, actually. He did step out and hit that marker. They're first down and ten. Bo Jackson with his first reception of the ball game. Surprised that Went Goat has come out here slinging this rock around when that was supposedly his weaker side. Maybe he's trying to keep Everett off balance and look into it. But as you see, when he gets down to that red zone, he's going back to his bread and butter. Bo Jackson, we, a heavy dose. We talked about it. We will definitely see a lot of running in the red zone. We did talk about that. Uh, red zone offense, really important in Madden. We've done a lot of tournaments. Surprised that a lot of guys don't have a game plan coming in to deal with the red zone because it's just like real football. You have to score in the red zone. Red zone stops are important. And we're not the Golden State Warriors, so we don't <laughs> want to take three here. You need touchdowns when you get down to that red zone. Yep, Everett. On defense, second and two for Went Goat. Back to pass, and he's got a receiver on the left-hand side, and that is Richardson there, the Seahawk receiver, and that is a first down. So pretty good out the shoot for Went Goat. Four or five passing uh, with Robert Griffin the third, RG3, and he's in the red zone ready to attack. Now, as we, as we get this shortened field now, you don't have to worry about giving up the deep ball. So you look for them to bring those safeties down a little bit to help support that run and make a play or two. And there's Bo Jackson, breaks the tackle off the right side, and he's in tied into the end zone, the painted end zone. And there is 95 overall fullback Bo Jackson, horse collar and all, the neck roll getting into the zone. And so far we have an upset in the making with Wingoat up 6-0 at the extra point, 7-0. Great drive, nine plays for Wingoat. You got to love the fact that the kid does not look phased. He not said, I came here to win. I feel that I can play with anybody in America. I scored on my first drive because I'm supposed to. <laughs>
that's what winners do. Yeah, he said his mom's going to be coming here as well. Once again, Went Goat, 18 years old, a.k.a. his government name, Nick Anderson. What a first drive for the 18-year-old for uh, from New Brighton, Minnesota, here outside of Minneapolis, getting it done. He's got his mom here, comes out, tricks us a little bit, talks about everything and talking up his running game. He comes out, he's passing the ball, and then he runs it in the red zone, which we knew he was going to do, and gets Bo Jackson in the end zone. And Everett with his first possession, hands off to his 95 overall. Bo Jackson, give him about a yard there. We'll call it second down and nine uh, for Everett there. Rico. Everett's definitely trying to keep pace right now with Wingo. You do not want to fall behind. You can't, we like to call a half stop, even take three here because that will add up so quickly. Oh, looking for his receiver on that left-hand side. Russell Wilson's first pass attempt. Incomplete there. Third down and nine for anti-hero. Hey, look, we're going to still, we're going to go back and forth because it's got Everett on here and it's also got Ant up there. So I'm going back to the name that he's known for in the community. Has a new kid, doesn't get to play a lot as much as he used to. He says sometimes his little kid, his son, gets in the way. So he's happy to be on the stage and, and have a relief and be able to play uh, without his uh, son uh, mashing. Oh, the buttons. Oh, almost picked off. Could not hold on to it. Another fourth down here, Rico. Now, he's only on his 28-yard line. While they say you go for it on fourth down, I'm not sure with what I've seen that that might be in his best interest. When you look at Everett, a.k.a. anti-hero offensively, he's running with the Falcons playbook. He's going to get in that gun tray there. Been playing uh, you know, for years now, and there he is. He's got a little gun action there. Bo Jackson offset to the right-hand side. Russell Wilson looking. Oh, is that a dot right down? And it is complete there. Must have completion there, and he gets it. First completion on the afternoon or the morning here, central time zone in Minneapolis for anti-hero first down and 10 and there's Bo Jackson got some room sticks out that stiff arm picks up about seven or eight second carry for Bo Jackson he's got 10 yards second and one Rico that was a big fourth down conversion but let me just say this Larry that's a tough way to make a living he <laughs> threw that pass into heavy traffic he was lucky to get that reception there and keep this drive going second down and one all plays available there there's a high aggressive catch and it's caught by his receiver there no actually incomplete he did not hold on to it third down and one but he's got three downs to pick up a yard, so he's in pretty good shape here. As long as he remembers that he has Bo Jackson on his team. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna you don't want to see him overthinking that right now. He needs to give that ball to Bo because Bo knows first downs. You'll see Went Goat gets a lot into that. He's got Ravens playbook on defense. And that's what the defense that he's using a lot of three, four for him. Middle of the field wide open here. Wow, if you're... <laughs> If you can get your receivers getting down there, you got plenty of room, and now I think he's going to try to hit Y right there. He's coming back. Oh, almost picked off by the linebacker for Wentgoat. So three plays to get one yard, two down, one to go, fourth and one right here, Rico. What do you do? You have to give it to Bo Jackson, correct? I thought you would have done that on third down, so you wouldn't <laughs> have had a fourth down. But, hey, what do I know? That's why I'm sitting over here. Right now, Wentgoat is looking to get this stop and get off the field. Everett's going to need to now make a play. And he only has one shot. You need to shoot that gap if you're Winko. Fourth down and one for Anti-Hero, a.k.a. Everett. He's back to pass, and he's got Kittle, the tight end, coming across. And that is a completion. Russell Wilson, second of the ball game. And there's a fourth down completion there. Move the sticks. Close to red zone. He's around the 30-yard line. Good pick up there, first and ten, and there's the run off the left side for Bo Jackson, but once again, a good job of bottling up Bo uh, by Wentgoat on second and eight here, Rico. It looked like he was going to be able to break that one and possibly see a little bit of end zone pay dirt, but just couldn't make that move to make that last guy miss. Second down and eight for Everett, a.k.a. anti-hero. Back in the gun, Russell Wilson got Bo Jackson offset to the right-hand side. Dangerous back to pass. He's looking. He's looking. He's going to take off running. Hurdles no one, but picks up a few extra yards there. It'll be about third and three as he gets back into the no huddle for anti. You can't let your quarterback take those kind of hits. He was really lucky to hold on to that ball right there. That was just a straight up shot. Bo Jackson off the left hand side. Don't know if he got that first down, and he did. He did not get the first down. For the second time, we've got a fourth down here, fourth in inches for Anti. And if you take a look, his players are exhausted. He, he needs to hope that he holds on to the ball, doesn't drop anything. We thought he was going to go to bow for all the last one-yard plays. Inches, he's probably going to take it to the air once again. 
Fourth and inches here. We got a timeout. Was that the end of the quarter there? Sure is. So a 7-0 ball game as we head into the second quarter. We have a bit of an upset brewing right now. You got Wet Goat, 18-year-old from right outside of Minneapolis in Brighton, Minnesota. Fourth and inches for the veteran, if you will. Anti-hero, a.k.a. Steve Everett. Once again has his wife and his kid in the audience. Getting a little reprieve, playing Madden without his uh, little one. Mashing the buttons. <laughs> Huge play here, Rico Williams. Fourth and inches for anti-hero Russell Wilson. Back to throw, and he's got a dot across the middle. Robert Woods, the receiver from the Bills, former USC Trojan. A fight on there, first and goal for anti-hero moving inside the five-yard line, Rico. Uh, that was a great play call right there. He ran those double drags underneath, Excellent. waited, made him commit to one side, found the open receiver, got it down to the five-yard line. Now let's see if Bo can do what Bo does. Oh, he had some room on the outside. His legs taken out from under him there. Be careful. Definitely don't want a fumble down here. A great fourth down completion there on that gun tight there. So there's Bo Jackson. Now he's got, that's what the 95 speed will do around the right side. And he's in to the house, making a house call there. And Zim loves that one. And we're about an extra point away from having a tied ball game. Great job by Anti-Hero converting a couple of fourth downs. Extra point is up and good. And it's 7-7 here live at the Mall of America. The body language on that play from both of those competitors spoke volumes. You can see that Wind Goat was so disappointed he gave up that touchdown. He knew he had a couple of chances to get off the field throughout that drive. And if you look at Everett, he was so relieved that he got that seven and tied it up. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if you're anti-hero, you know you put a lot of your money. He said, heavy D, Larry, like a huge percentage of my money spent on defense. He said, for me, I'm riding defense and I'm riding Bo. And there he came up with it when he really needed fourth and inches and he gets Bo Jackson into the zone. We're tied at seven. Once again, Larry Ridley, Rico Williams live here at the Mall of America for the Madden 18 Vikings Championship here inside of this beautiful facility. The biggest mall in America here. We were here last year. Great facility here. I want to thank the folks, Darius Smith and all my guys with the Minnesota Vikings. Skull Country here, live on Vikings.com and Twitch.tv slash Madden. And there he is. He's got a receiver across the middle. Oh, and it's picked up on his back. He caught it, Rico. Can you believe that on his Keister on his backside. Anti-Hero gets the first turnover of the game. And we head the other way, Rico. And that's why he got that secondary. Pressure, bust pipes, and mm. it's time to apply it now. As you see, he ran that streak. There he was is. able to get underneath it. Tip drill. Off we the know what to do with that. What a play there. He talked about it. Heavy D. D-line and secondary. He says, Larry, I don't have to blitz. I've got coverage, guys. And it showed up big there, and he's going back to the bread and butter. Now this is what I expected from anti-hero. Bo Jackson, heavy defense. It'll be interesting to see how Wincoat handles adversity. This is the first time he's facing a turnover. The stop, can he brush that off, put it behind him and keep going? Or is he going to let it affect it and ruin the rest of his game? Good job by my buddy, the Madden historian. He knows everything about Madden and everyone uh, in this community. 7-7 seven to seven ball game off the first turnover of the game. Anti-hero, a.k.a. Everett, back to pass. And he's got the tight end Kittle off the right-hand side. A little quick little pass there. I'll give him about six, seven-yard gain there. Third and three forever. Again, that was another tough way to make a living right there. He barely got that one off, and he threw that one into coverage as well. Look for him to try to find more open receivers or use that run a little bit more to set up the pass. Steve Everett back in that gun tray. Russell Wilson dangerous as the Twitter. Oh, he's got B screaming across the middle. Didn't find him. Got a running back. He's going to take off Russell Wilson off the middle of the field. And he picks up about nine. And that'll be plenty enough for a first down there. Two rushes on the day for Russell Wilson doing a good job. You got to tip your hat to that O-line. They blocked and gave him all the time in the world. Winko needs to realize at this level, players are too good to allow them to go through their reads and progressions seven different times before they decide to take off. Well, in the salary cap, he spent most of his money on the secondary with Sherman and those guys, Houston, those guys. Not a lot on the D-line. And there's Bo Jackson almost breaking that last tackle there off the left-hand side. Look, it's the numbers aren't phenomenal. Eight carries for 24 yards, but it's the attempts there, Rico, that I like. He's still running the rock, which he should be doing. He's keeping him honest, and that's what you want to do right now. As long as Bo is on that field, you have to know where he <laughs> is at all times, and you have to account for him. Just always look for the neck roll. You got to know where Bo Jackson is here. The 95 overall fullback edition 
Uh, and they got Bo Jackson for 60 points. I mean, that's pretty cheap. I know EA raised the amount uh, recently there. Dangerous across the middle. Almost picked off. There. Was that Paul Kraus? No, it wasn't. But it was almost picked off by Wet Goat. Uh, and that secondary there. That's where all of his money's at. You got to be careful if you're anti-hero trying to uh, thread that needle into the secondary there. He's got some ball hawks out there. He waited just a second too long to throw that Did pass and allow, and allow the defense to make that recovery. He needs to... Get that playoff a little earlier. Get to move the sticks. Third down and six for anti-hero. That went goes 40-yard line. Dangerous rolling to the right. Plenty of time there, and he's got a receiver. Richardson, Paul Richardson there, and he picks up about eight. We'll give him the first down there. Moves the sticks close to around the 35-yard line, and anti-hero starting to rack up some yards, 100 yards now total offense. Russell Wilson actually made that play. By him taking that corner and having that speed, he made Winko have to make a decision yes. between coming up or staying with that drag. As soon as he hesitated for that one second, gave him the window to throw that, and Antihero is too good of a player to miss that opportunity. First down. Madden players right here. This is what separates the pros from some of us Joes that are just average guys. Great job of running the time down, chewing clock, getting down to the two-minute warning here it's all about possessions guys just like when you're watching the vikings your vikings at u.s bank stadium you want to score before the half and maybe get that ball back in the second half and score as well uh which a team like the patriots do so very well so a good job there by anti-hero controlling the clock and we'll see if Wingo will start using some of those timeouts to see if he can get the ball back uh, before the end of the half but very critical here that Wingo and anti-hero do the best they can to stop points or if you're anti-hero to get points here as he looks like he's going to be bringing this one down as far as he can. Doing a good job. Going to chew that clock. Yeah, if he's not going to call a timeout, let it go. Down inside 10 seconds. Second down at 7. He's got Bo Jackson on the right-hand side in the flat. Pick up about 5 there. It'll be 3rd and about 2. And once again, we're under a minute and a half. Tick, 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 tick. I guess he's going to chew clock here. Yeah, big part of that play is he managed to stay in bounds. He did. Kept that clock going. And Whitcote is not going to use his timeouts. He's saying, hey, I'm playing D. I like it. Time winding down. Almost 10 seconds left on the play clock. If you're an anti-hero, you don't want to snap this thing before about five seconds. And he did it anyway. Chews up the little clock. Picks up the first down. Tick, 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 tick. Moving the sticks. About a minute to play here. First down and 10. This will be a heck of a win for anti-hero if he can get the score here and you get that double. For the score before the half and coming out of the second half there, which a lot of those NFL teams love to do, uh, especially the New England Patriots, very good and very adept at that. I think they did it 12 times in 16 games this year. Uh, really good at getting that double before the half and coming out of the half. First and 10, under 40 seconds remaining. Now he's going to pick it up a little bit, but still got three timeouts. Plenty of time left here for Antihero. Off the turnover, he's got Bo Jackson. Oh, great tackle there by Wick Goat. Good job of that one-on-one -on -one stop there on the left-hand side. Tick, 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 tick. Under 30 seconds left, Rico. There's a difference between running clock and then settling for three way too early. Yes. I think he made the decision that he was happy to take three after that stop because he is allowed almost two minutes to run off this <laughs> clock. And it's second and 12. There's only 25 seconds left. But he can always throw it, and he does have timeout, so I'm not too concerned. And he's got, oh, what a pick there. And we're going back the other way. What about the young kid, Wintgo? Give me that. Heading back the other way, and that is Houston with the INT. And wow, what a turn of events there. Had three, bare minimum, possibly seven. And now we go into the break, and we're probably going to be knotted if Antihero doesn't give up a long score here. What a pickoff there by Winko. Wow is absolutely correct. Uh-oh, and he was just a step oh. away. That shoestring tackle might have saved seven right there. You have to be disappointed if mm. you're Everett right there. That hurts. You're managing the clock. You got mm. your stop. You're able to take advantage of this, and bang, you throw that pick. Just a really unfortunate turnover at a really unfortunate time. Wow. So there's Bo Jackson on that toss there. He got a little room around the right side. Be careful. Don't need a turnover there. Another timeout for Wintgoat. Uh, he'll have one remaining. Six seconds left. Maybe if you can get a deep pass here, maybe kick a long field goal. Although I, I know neither one of those guys spent a lot of money on their field goal kicker. But there's Bo up the middle. Picks up about nine or ten. One second left. Can he get the timeout? No. And that will take us into the break as we head into halftime here. 
live at the Mall of America. Larry Will Ridley alongside Rico Williams here. 7-7 seven seven ball game. Go ahead and make some noise here. The fans are starting to foul in here at Mall of America. The rotunda inside of our little coliseum here as the guys are peering over the railings here. Wow, 7-7 seven seven ball game. Couple of turnovers there by both guys. Really hurt. If you were to ask Winko coming into this, hey, you're going to play your first half, big stage, you'll be tied up 7-7 seven to seven with last year's runner-up, he'd take that all day and twice on Saturday. <laughs> right now, he's shown that he can play with anybody. Anybody. He's clicked on, on defense, he's made his plays, he's shown that he's diversified his portfolio on offense, we thought he was going to be all run, he's been <laughs> airing it out, he only went to bow in the red zone to score, yeah. right now, you got to give the moral victory that first half to win go. A absolutely. I mean, here's a guy that's the underdog, and he's done a very good job of being into this ball game. Look, he's going to have a shot in the second half. I liked how he tripped us all up. He said, look, I'm a run first guy, but he showed that he's got the ability to make some plays in the passing game, and I really do like that. I want to see both of these guys get back to giving it to Bo Jackson. You spent your salary cap on him. You both got that fullback, 95 overall. Give the guy the rock. Give him his attempts. You He's know? the most expensive decoy in the salary <laughs> cap team that we've seen. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah, we'll take a look if we can at the first half. Uh, we'll react to it. Uh, you got two touchdowns by both guys. I really like what Antihero is doing, though. Defensively, he's controlling things. He's got money on that D-line. He's got money into the secondary. He doesn't have to do a lot of blitzing. So I like where he's at there. And you take a look at some of the first-half highlights, and there's Winko. Got it started early. And there's the run and the touchdown by Bo Jackson to put him on the board first. And that was a clutch play, but he came right back down. Trailing 7 nothing, and shows that he's the savvy veteran he is. Gets to the outside, and voila. His Bo Jackson can do that too. On a second and goal play, and here's the pick right here. Awesome pick here. Shoestring pick on his backside as well. Diving interception there, and then you just thought that he would cap it off and don't go there because Houston is waiting with a single bar, and he brings it back out for Antihero throwing that pick there and Wintgo getting the pick there. Like this seesaw affair here, back and forth, who do you think has the momentum to establish control here in the second? Oh, you definitely have to say Wincoat has the momentum. He had turned the ball over. He was facing adversity, but he was able to stay calm, stay cool, stay collected. He got his stop, got the ball back. Now it looks like he's playing with a little bit of house money. Well, both of these guys are better at running the ball. And I, and I always ask the other one, what are you going to do when you get down? Can you come back throwing the ball? And they both said, well, I'm not really worried about that because I'm going to be in the ball game. I've got a good defense. Look, if somebody can get a two-score advantage here, I think that person's going to win. I have to agree with you, especially with there only being second half left. Two scores the way this is going. Exactly. We haven't seen two scores out of either one in the first <laughs> half. And there are the Minnesota Vikings. Skull country here. We'll have the Skull drum line coming up as well. John Randall is here signing autographs. It's a great atmosphere here. I want to thank everyone with the Minnesota Vikings, Darius Smith and his whole crew. Uh, the Vikes, U.S. Bank Stadium, the site of Super Bowl 52 in 29 days. And there is the young kid from Bright, Minnesota, Went Goat, the 18-year-old Nick Anderson, kicking off. And it will be anti-hero in the dark, purple on purple. Steve Everett has his wife and his child in the audience. And once again, he gets a little break. Uh, the, the, his son not punching down on the buttons. Dad can go to work. Hopefully Dad can take home a nice little bag and head down to Orlando with some nice cash and get into that Pro Bowl, the championship for the club championship down there, and then uh, hope to hopefully ultimately into the Madden Ultimate League as well. So second down and eight for Antihero, the first possession of the second half, and he gave it to Bo Jackson once again. Bread and butter, Rico. Give it to Bo Jackson once again. Get those attempts up. He had that corner one-on-one, -on -one, and I expected him to make a move, but he went way too early on the juke, which allowed that corner to come up and get some help and stop that potentially big game. I know Everett did not want to come out and find himself in another third and long to start this second half. While it's, he's going to use all four downs because he said his punter's not going to get much action today, <laughs> you don't want to have to make a big play every drive. Steve Everett back in that gun tray. Oh, he's got B. I thought he was going to hit him. Oh, a great job. Oh, almost... Caught off the carom there by Antihero. Fourth and seven. He had him. He missed him by about a half a second. He should have hit it a little bit quicker there. Fourth and seven. Huge call here, Rico. Again, we got the, we found them waiting a tad too long to make that read. Yep. I think that might still go back to nerves. He was this 
heavy favor going into this, and now he realized he's in a battle right now. Mm. Also, uh, oh, pressure off the right side. He does not pick it up. Going to come up about two yards short. He's got the completion of Bo Jackson, but he is short, so the ball turns back over. Here we go back on the seesaw, the teetotter, and it's back over to Wingate. He gets the stop. Here he can take control of this game here. He was facing a fourth and long. What did he do? He sent that pressure off the edge. Wasn't going to allow his receiver to get that depth that he needed to get that first oh. down. Was able to make the tackle. Wrapped up. Got the ball back. Textbook first defensive drive. You just saw Jadeveon Clowney came in there, put a little bit of pressure on Russell Wilson. Got into his face there. So anti-hero turns the ball over. Went Goat gets the ball. Tied up at seven apiece. Under four minutes to play here in the third quarter. First play there he gives the ball and rushes it for a yard so second down and nine there and we'll see if anti-hero once again put a lot of money into that secondary not a lot of money into the uh into the d-line and he's still able to get pressure we'll see how much he's able to hold up i like the fact he's got the two deep safety safeties back there as well guarding against a deep pass Rico. have you noticed that Wincoat's expression has not changed all game <laughs> wow and he found that hole that's man that's how you can beat that cover too you got to hit it in that hole about 18 to 20 yards down the middle of the field there with that corner you know playing a little cloud coverage in the in the in the flat down there good job there by went goat hitting the spot where he needed to hit it at first and 10 inside the red zone and there's bo jackson squeezing through he's got room on the right side he's gonna get out into the end zone and for the second time today bo jackson into the end zone, and he takes a 13-7 lead. And look at Wingo. We can't get a smile from the young fella. Nothing. It is negative 11 degrees out here. <laughs> you are making your way to the Pro Bowl, possibly, in sunny Orlando, and we still have not seen him smile. Do you know why? Because <laughs> this is a business trip for him. He has not yet got that vacation. This youngster is showing the world that he can play with anybody, and he's ready for the big stage. Look, the kid, man, he's got ice water in his veins. He man. has no I, choice. I, it's negative 11 degrees. That, that is true. That is absolutely true. But when you talk to the kid, he's unflappable, man. I mean, he, he just, he'll answer the question. He's very direct. He's like, Larry, look, I'm, I'm not here to do a lot. I don't know a lot about this guy. I'm going to play my game. I don't really care what he does. I'm very confident in myself, and I'm going, I'm going to pull this thing out. I don't know how, but I'm just going to get it done. And so far, he is getting it done uh, in the first, you know, I guess 11 or 12 minutes of this contest. While Everett does have a touchdown with Bo Jackson, he has 14 rushes for 34 yards. If you told Wingoat with three minutes remaining in the third quarter, you've held Bo Jackson to 14 carries for 34 yards. Maybe even better, 15 for 35. I know. You'd be like, I'll take it. But, and you compare this back to when we saw Skimbo and Van <laughs> play. Right there, it was 280 yards. I know, rushes. right? There's a completion there to Paul Richardson. That is complete. Look, if you're anti-hero, don't abandon the run. It's still a one-score game. You don't have to abandon it. Give my guy some attempts. You have Bo Jackson. You spent the cap money on him. He's a 95 overall fullback. You got to let him eat, man. And there, oh, he had Bo on the other side right next to the receiver. That is complete, though, for Russell Wilson. And that was the fear factor that made him throw that pass. He, <laughs> that imaginary heat was coming. If he could have waited a second longer, but was running that out route, sure he would have had nothing but daylight, and that was possibly seven he left on the table there. Second down and five here, about two minutes left in the third quarter. Anti-hero down by a touchdown, the favorite. Rolling, oh, that corner route way out of bounds there. Russell Wilson so far, 9 of 17, 89 yards, does have the pick. We've got a third down and five coming up for anti-Rico. Again, that shows a little bit of the rust in him not playing the game. He had the opportunity to plan his feet and throw a strike. Instead, he still tried to throw that ball on the run, wound up with an overthrow. It's called the family life, man. It's called a job. It's called a wife. It's called a kid. He's got Anderson deep. Oh, and it's picked off there. What a great job by Houston once again. His second interception of the game. What about this kid? Just still no wow. smile. That stoic look. But the <laughs> confidence of the young man. I thought he had him wide open, but he was like, no, I'm already back here. Great job being in position. Great job of high-pointing the ball to go up and get it. And now he's got the ball and the lead. First down and 10 at his own 11-yard line. And there's Bo Jackson dragging tacklers. Tough four-yard gain there for Bo Jackson. Now, this is where we're going to see what he's really worth here because does he know how to close the game out? Yes. He's up a score now with the ball. Bo Jackson and the clock ticking. 
Mm, mm. This should be a wrap, barring a fumble or a turnover. Four yards in the cloud of dust. Yeah. You, chain? you talk to Wint, Goat. I'm like, Wint, how are you going to do this thing? There's a first down run by Ball. Oh, the fumble. That's what we were talking about. And it's picked up and recovered by Anti-Hero. And we're going back the other way. You have to be careful. Take care of the football. And both guys now, two turnovers, two picks for Wint Goat, a pick and a fumble recovery for Antihero trying to get back into this ball game. I was just about to sing his good graces, talking about the fact that he was confident, wanted to see what was happening. And I said about the labbing. You don't do a lot of labbing. He says, not as much as I should. That was the only admission I got out of the young man in our pregame meetings, Rico. That was great. Oh. oh, he had him, Paul Richardson, on that skinny post, and he missed him. That might come back to bottom third Did down. Did you forward. hear the entire yes. crowd gasp? Oh. They were so excited. They thought we were going to have that tied up. And he actually got lucky there because that could have been a pick. After he missed that, there was a defender right behind him. I love that the fact that we've got a lot of moms out here. Look at all of the little kids out here as well, the baby strollers, the young tights, the little whippersnappers. All of them out here watching, man. That's how they identify. High point, and it's caught. Oh, he didn't. He dropped it. Didn't hold on to it. Thought he had the aggressive catch in the high point. Wasn't able to hold on. Fourth and four. Do you take the points or do you go for it, Rico? Well, he's going to take the points. He's taking the points, <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. This hurts my heart to see this. Mm -hmm. We've seen it before where we talked about the two-point conversions. Like sure. He may not have another chance. When you're facing Bo Jackson, well, then you got that fumble. About that position, you had your shot there. He may not get the ball back in order to try to recoup that possession. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be tough. Absolutely, I say put a check in the box of Went Goat. That is a win. Anytime you do not give up a touchdown, field goals, they don't beat you a majority of the time here. Just like uh, in the NFL, in the real world, you want to stiffen your neck and bow your neck, as my college coach used to say back in the day, and stiffen in the red zone. All right. Oh, oh there's a that. fumble, and it is recovered. Big hitter fumble there by Antihero. Almost had the third turnover by Wintgo. He's able to hold on there. Oh, that was a huge play there. Yeah, maybe he knows something that we know. That's why he took his three. Mm. But as you can see, everybody packing in. Did you just see Jag entered the building? Oh, Jag Minnesota's City. Minnesota's finest. <laughs> you can't come to Minneapolis and not have Jag City, man. Uh, strolling around here. It was great meeting and talking with him last night during dinner, man. The stories that that guy has, man, I'll tell you what. That, that guy should be a storyteller on TV, man. He's got some great stories. The tone is up. Oh, my God. Anti-hero. That would have been a pick six. Whoa, that would have been the fourth turnover. So he's gotten two, but two more that he should have here, and he's trailing. Those will be two plays that we will come back to if he's on the losing side of this game here. Yes, I saw that as well. <laughs> and you got to be able to make that play. I know. I, you got to click on. You got to click on. Third down and 12. Larry Ridley, Rico Williams live here from the Mall of America outside of Minneapolis in Bloomington, Minnesota. A 14-10 ball game. Went goat the underdog. Oh, and he's got his receiver. Going to come up about two yards short. A yard short. Fourth and one. He has the lead. This is competitive Madden, Rico. Are we punting or are we going for it here? What are we doing? In, and... I, I want to say it in a practice type of way. Punting? <laughs> punting? You're talking about bringing out a punter? Why would I bring out a punter in Madden? No, it's fourth and one. This is where you go and come out in a tight formation, see how they're going to play you, and then you give the ball to Bo Jackson. <laughs> if you do anything besides give the ball to Bo Jackson right now, it, single back bunch. This is his formation, one of his top formations here. He's always in that gun bunch or the single bunch, single back bunch. We'll see right here. He's got, he does not hand it to Bo Jackson. He's going to pass. Here comes him. He's got to get it off. Oh, and it's caught. What a pass and a dot to Paul Richardson. Wow, the young man got some cojones. I knew he was going to give it to Bo, but he didn't. He was in the single bunch, the single back bunch, and he went ahead and he threw it. And you can see the disappointment in Everett's face because he, yes. he had that deed up. That was a tough way to make mm. a living. As we say, falls, tip my hat to you. Sometimes Madden's good to you, sometimes, sometimes not. it's not. And right then, Madden was great to win go because he should have not completed that pass. Mm. That may have been a $1,500 pass. That's the difference between fourth place, 1000 bucks, and being in the exactly. championship game. Wow. That, that, that's a great call, Larry. Second down and eight. Went go. Went go. The young man, the underdog from Bright, Minnesota, has the lead. And he's got 
Bo Jackson running the rock. We'll see how much time he can take off the clock. If he can chew some clock here, get it under two minutes, and also get a touchdown, I think he may have just won himself at least 1500 bucks. Great job there on that fourth and one. Took some nerve to throw that rock into there on that dig route. Hit the inside receiver, and he got it into Paul Richardson. What a call there while wow, he went for it. You know, sometimes it's funny. We talk about the first time in the hot seat, how they're going to handle the pressure. Oh, what another solid throw, and it is complete. Once again, RG3 playing the game of his life here. I don't know that he even thinks he's supposed to feel pressure. Drive of the game right here, guys. First and 10. Went Goat with the lead. 14-10 lead. About three minutes left. Rolling out. He wisely throws it away. Good job there with RG3. If RG3 could play like this right now in the real life, playing. he'd still be playing. Yes. <laughs> Maybe he needs to find Wincoat as his offensive coordinator, and then uh, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> oh, man. RG3 hands it off to Bo Jackson. Good job there. A great single tackle there. Once again, Bo Jackson, 15 carries, almost 100 yards. So he's done his part for Wincoat. Third down and nine as we get under three minutes to play. This might be the play of the ball game here. If you're anti-hero, if you can force a field goal, you're only down a touchdown. And here's the thing. You know he's going to take his three to give him a one touchdown lead. So all you have to do is make sure you don't give up nine yards. Oh, the draw. And he's can't. got him inside the five, and he picks up the first down. And Farrell, first rush of the ball game. Great call there. Great play call by Whitco, a guy we have not seen all ball game. Great is an understatement. Wow. Every time we thought he was going to run that ball, he passed. He came out in that formation, set him up, set him up, set him up, okie doke, bang. What about this kid? He has tripped all of us up. He has done exactly the opposite of what he told us in the show meeting, almost like he didn't want to trust us, like we were going to give away his game plan. Bo Jackson, not bad. You'll take that two-minute warning. Second down and goal from around the one-yard line as we move to the two-minute warning. Went go. A four-point lead. It is 14 to 10 live here at the Mall of America. Larry Ridley alongside Rico Williams here for the Madden 18 Vikings Championship here. What a crowd here inside of the rotunda. All four levels packed here. John Randall was here signing autographs earlier. And we have a ball game here with the first semifinal. And it is the young man, the 18-year-old. Went Goat, Nick Anderson from New Bright, Minnesota. Has a lead. Third and goal. One play away from getting a two-score advantage, which might put him into the final if he can get it. And there's the tall sweep. And once again, it's Farrell breaks the tackle. He's into the end zone. Makes a house call. His second carry of the game. Goes for a touchdown. And how about that? He has the two-score lead. Was that a little smile? It just was a little bit. a little bit of a just, smile? Just a little bit. It sure was. How about that? A 21-10 lead on a 13-play drive for the young man from New Bright, Minnesota, the 18-year-old playing like a grown man today. Do you realize he's one game away from saying, hey, Mom, let me take you to Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was talking about how his mom kind of questioned, you know how the moms are, they question, why are you playing the video games? I know it's competitive. I see Mom. I saw her when she walked in. How about this, Mom? Your son has an 11-point lead. And he's moving on, if he can hold on here, with the buck 49 left. It, it's, it's gone from, hey, quit playing that video game, to, hey, get up there and start playing that video game. We're trying to get out of this negative 11 degrees. <laughs> well, if we can get into the championship, and there's a nice pass there. And Kittle, who has been the man for Wendo, when he needs a pass play, and he's done a good job of completing these passes, he's gone to the tight end, Kittle. They'll first down and 10. He needs to score quickly here, anti-hero. He, he cannot pity pat down this field. And then the next question is, what does his onside kick look like? That's true. Does he have one? And he's holding, he's holding on to his timeouts. He does. I am a I like that. firm proponent in giving yourself two shots. You still try the onside, and you know that they don't have normally as good of a kicker as they normally would have. Ooh, absolutely. Kittle holds on once again. Russell Wilson, 12 of 23. Not a, not, not a terribly good day so far but there you see Kittle is the guy that they're going to five catches on the day 50 yards he does use one of these timeouts here ah he's taking the points he knows he needs two scores this is a Madden pro right here love where his head is at a lot of people are like what is he doing kicking the field goal well you need two scores he gets one of them out of the way he's down eight 
And now you're going to see the onside kick game. He's the last two timeouts left. And that's what I was looking to see. I wish he would have held on to that timeout, though, and still kicked the field goal, and you would have had the three timeouts with about a minute to play. And it is recovered by Went Goat there. So he's got an eight-point lead. Did try to hit stick there. He's called two fumbles. Was going for that third one there. So Went Goat will have the ball. Eight-point lead. A buck 11 left. Two timeouts for Antihero. Here is where we're going to see the Madden IQ of the youngster. Does he know to run this ball every single down? Yes. And not only that, be sure? conservative with it. He better know that. Because here's, here's my <laughs> only concern. I'm hoping that he does not try to get a first down on third down and not allow that clock to run out. He's going to use his timeouts in these first two. Yes. If he tries an incomplete, he throws an incomplete pass on third down, that changes the whole complexion of this game. Ooh. Woo! You got to be careful there. That's, he that's when it gets a little scary and a little hairy right now. He needs to run this ball and then punt. Please do not try to throw I, this for the first time. No, no, down. no, no. I, I, think, I, think you, I think you RPO. Run pass option. You got, you got RG3. I don't, I don't know if I'm okay with that. I am. I, I, Your you defense still, is played. I know, but you can, still, you can still run it, though, or pass it. That's what I'm saying. Get around the edge. But he still gets the effect of running the ball. Like, he's going to choose some clock here. Fourth and 15. I wouldn't even have came out that early. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now how's his coffin corner? You know, a lot of times the youngsters love to do those drills. Went goat. Eight-point lead here. Clock ticking. Under 10 seconds left on the play clock now. So, Antihero will get the ball. Under 30 seconds remaining. And down by eight. He's going to need a touchdown and a two-point conversion here. And there's the punt. It is up. Coffin corner out of bounds around the 15-yard line, 16, 17-yard line, somewhere around there. He's going to have to go 80, 83, 84 yards um, for a touchdown. Technically, we'll call it 80, 82 yards. It is around the 18. So, good call there by Rico Williams. 21-13, under 30 seconds remaining. He's going to get into his gun. Now, I know that Antihero has an offense where he can score. But does he have a two-point conversion play? I'm pretty sure he's going to have to work on it. There's the gun trays moving down the left sideline. Incomplete on the outside there for Paul Richardson. Second down and 10 now. 24 seconds remaining. Antihero needs a miracle here. He needs a touchdown and a two-point conversion. And this is when it comes back to these guys. I ask them all the time. When you have to have it and you're down as a running guy, can you throw it when you need it? And they all say yes. But here it is. Can you put it into action and put it into the play mode? And Russell Wilson takes off. He's going to have to get out of bounds. He doesn't have any timeouts. Picks up the first down. He's going to have 16 seconds left. Gains about 15 yards there. So he's going to have two or three more plays here. He's going to have to get something deep. If you take a look at Houston there with that single bar, love the throwback there. And guys like Houston and Paul Krause, uh, the former Viking great first down and 10 here. At the 35-yard line, he's going to have to get this thing deep here. Across the middle, and it's caught by Bo Jackson. Taken down. Tick, 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 tick. Six, five, mm. four, Not gonna have time. three, That's the ball game. two, ball game. done. <laughs> it's over. And we have a winner. Down goes Frazier. And the first upset of the day, and it's the guy with the red hoodie there. I think that's the Gophers there, the Minnesota Gophers. And it is Went Goat. Nick Anderson gets the win over Steve Everett, a.k.a. Do you see Proud Mama? Anti-hero, Proud Mama, Proud Mama smiling Wicko. now. Oh, yeah. Proud Mama, keep on smiling. Do you see, do you see that heavy jacket she's wearing? <laughs> you don't need that.